Welcome to the spoken tutorial on 3D objects in LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create 3D objects using the following options. Extrusion, 3D Toolbar, 3D Rotation Object. You will learn to edit and apply 3D effects to objects and create special effects using duplication. To use this tutorial, you must be familiar with basic and intermediate level tutorials in Draw. Here, we are using Ubuntu Linux version 10.04 as our operating system and LibreOffice Suite version 3.3.4. Let's create a geometry chart which shows a 2D shape and equivalent 3D form. For example, a square is a 2D object, a cube is its 3D form. We have a new draw file here named as 3D Objects Chart. Before we begin the drawing, Let's enable the grids and the grid lines. We have learned about this in previous tutorials. From the main menu, click on View, select Grid and Display Grid. Then again, click on View, select Guides and Display Guides. I want to set both the rulers to centimeters. Place the mouse pointer on the horizontal ruler. Now right click and select centimeter. Place the mouse pointer on the vertical ruler. Again right click and select centimeter. Let us now draw a text box on the top of the page. Let's insert the text. Geometric shapes in 2D and 3D inside it. Let us now divide the page into two vertical halves using a snap line. Click on the vertical ruler and drag it to the draw page. A vertical dotted line appears. Place the dotted line on the page such that the page is divided into two halves. Let's insert a text box on the left side and type 2D shapes inside it. Let's draw another text box on the right side and type 3D shapes inside it. Let us enable the 3D toolbars. From the main menu, click on View, select Toolbars and 3D Objects. Again, click on View, select Toolbars and 3D Settings. The 3D objects and 3D settings toolboxes are displayed. We will first draw the 2D shapes. We will draw a rectangle, a square, a circle and a triangle and place them one below the other. The method of obtaining a 3D object using a 2D object is called extrusion. Basically, the surface is moved outward to create the 3D object. First, let us change the color of the rectangle to turquoise 1. Let's make a copy of the rectangle. Let's drag the copied rectangle and place it on the right half of the page. Now while we are still selected, right click to view the context menu. Now click on convert and select to 3D. The 2D rectangle is converted to a cuboid. Let's type rectangle inside the rectangle shape. However, we cannot type text inside 3D objects. To type text, we need to use text tool. Click on the text tool and draw a text box inside the cuboid. Type the text cuboid inside it. The text box and the cuboid are treated as two separate objects. Therefore, let's group them. Similarly, we can color and convert the square, circle and triangle into 3D objects. We have used extrusion to create a chart of 2D and 3D figures. Pause this tutorial and do this assignment. Add a new page to draw file. Draw a square and type the text square. Convert the square with text to 3D. Compare with the text form of the 2D square text. Hint, use the 3D settings toolbar to create 3D objects. 
Draw also provides ready-made 3D shapes. You can insert these shapes using the 3D Objects toolbar. Let's insert a new page in our draw file. Let's select a shape from the 3D Objects toolbar, say Shell. Then draw it on the page. Draw also allows you to create 3D objects using body rotation and 2D objects. Let's draw a 2D shape, say a circle, on our draw page. Right click for the context menu and select Convert. Then choose to 3D rotation object. Observe what happens to the circle. It is now a 3D object. Click on the Font Work Gallery icon on the Drawing Toolbar at the bottom. Let us select Favorite 16 and click on the OK button. The text Font Work is displayed on our draw page. We can resize this text as required. Now we may want some other text in its place. How do we do that? Simply double click inside the text Font Work. Now you will be able to see the word font work in black color within the larger text. Select this text and type Spoken Tutorials. Now click anywhere on the draw page. The word Spoken Tutorial will now be displayed on the page. Next, let us learn how to apply effects on 3D objects. Let us apply effects on a spherical shape. So let us select it and right click for the context menu. Now select 3D effects. You can see various options here. For demo purpose, let us change depth parameter to 3 cm. Under segments, let us change horizontal to 12. Under normals, let us select flat option. Observe the appearance of the object in its preview window. Now click on the assign icon on the top right hand corner of the dialog box. Next click on the X mark at the top left hand corner to exit the dialog box. Observe our shape now. The effects we selected have been applied to it. Here is an assignment for you. Create a similar picture like the one shown on the slide. Use the 3D effects dialog box to achieve this. You can also create special effects using duplication with 2D and 3D objects. Let's create a new page and draw a rectangle in it. Let us create an effect using duplication on the 2D rectangle. From the main menu, select Edit and click Duplicate. The duplicate dialog box appears. Let us enter the following values. Number of copies, 10. Under placement, x-axis is equal to 10. y-axis is equal to 20. Angle is equal to 0 degrees. You will keep the enlargement width and height as default. We will change the start color to yellow. End color to red. Click OK. Look at the great special effects we have got. You can get many more effects by changing the angles and the other values. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, we have learned how to create 3D objects using the following options extrusion. 3D toolbar, 3D rotation object. We have learned to edit 3D objects and apply 3D effects to objects. We also learned to create special effects using duplication. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials. Give certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to 
contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash n-m-e-i-c-t hyphen intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Desicru Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.